Keeping our fingers moving once again. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another video. This is the February 22nd edition of our Go Practice series. Hope you're having a great day today. We've got two more scale types to run through today at our slightly faster tempo. This is the second time through these. And as you've probably gleaned by now, we like to do two of them once they get a little faster. And in this video, it's going to be exercise 2E, which is our half step, whole step, diminished scale, and 2F, which is our whole tone scale. This is the so called top down version of the scales, where we descend first and then reascend afterwards. And this is true on the scale and the arpeggio. For the scale bars, we're going to repeat twice first time slurred, second time tongued. And for the arpeggios, we're going to repeat three times. First slurred, then tongued, then slurred once again. If you don't have the PDF for these yet, then head to the links in the description box down below and you can get the free downloads from the Airflow Music Online Store. We're going at 132 beats a minute on these. I'm going to make two bars rest in between keys just to give us a moment to catch our breath. And I don't think there's too much else to say. So let's go ahead and start out by playing 2E, the half step, whole step, diminished scale. Thank you. 
that's the diminished scale and that one went pretty smoothly for me. How did you find it? It's always good to hear from you. Please leave me a comment down below. It'll probably be good to move on to our hull tone scale now. This one was causing me some problems when we first went through it last week so I've been practicing this and I'm hopeful that I'm in better shape with it now. But there's only one way to find out. Once again we're going at 132 beats a minute and making two bars rest in between keys and yes we've already recapped the rest of the rules so no sense in talking too much about it. Let's play them. I'll confess that it did take me a couple of takes to get a full set of all 12 keys of that one down, but overall the hull tones are working much more smoothly for me now, I'm finding them much more familiar. And it'll be good to move on in the next video to playing some of the scales from this set a little faster again. Now we're getting our fingers moving and getting everything happening, so that should be good. Anyway, that's what I have for you in this one. I hope you've enjoyed playing your scales with me today and if you have please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be back with another video tomorrow and until then thanks very much for watching and go practice. <laughs>